Hello, welcome to today's edition of Pegasus Test. On today's edition, we're covering Stage 4 of Desert Brutality 2020, Retreat. Alright, in this stage, it's just what the name implies. Instead of moving forward like you normally do on a shooting stage, you're moving backwards the whole time. So they take you down to the end of the target bay, and you have two Ipsic pop, uh, excuse me, two Ipsic steel targets in front of you. Off to your right, you have a, a diamond plate target that's out of view of everybody that's way back on the spectator section. And this is a crafty way to make your pistol safe from moving backwards and to keep you from having 180 problems. So you fire off two shots at the left target, get two hits, get two hits on the right target, drop your magazine, and then the round in the chamber gets fired at the remaining target. Now, I had a special exemption here, I had a Browning High Power. Obviously, if I drop the magazine, the gun's not going to work as as a magazine safety. So I talked this over with the RO, he told me, take that shot, then drop the magazine and clear it, and he would be fine with that. And that's exactly what we did. Once you've done that, you pick up uh, what they call a rocket launcher. In reality, it was just a storage tube for a 120mm main gun round, but I digress. You pick that up, and you dash back to the first tent, uh, trench. Drop it near or in the trench with you. You go in with your rifle, and those same two uh, IP-6 steel targets you engage with your pistol, you now engage with your rifle. You get those, go back, pick up the rocket launcher again, go past a few fighting shell scrapes into uh, the second to last trench, two shots on the left, two shots on the right, recover the rocket, go back to the final trench, and two on the left, two on the right, and then you're done. This is an awesome stage, mainly because it's another stage that's got good, real-world military practicality in it. You know, we say ever forward, we say never retreat, but the truth is sometimes you do have to pull back. And this is a pretty good scenario. Clearly you've been surprised by the enemy, you grab your valuable weapon, the rocket launcher, and you retreat. You dispatch your close enemy with uh, your pistol, and then using your rifle, uh, as you gain distance on him, you keep him suppressed. It's a pretty good scenario. Uh, a, a match, or excuse me, a stage like this would be excellent at a two-man match because you could have the guys moving and bounding with careful overwatch from the OCs. I mean, this was just a blast. I enjoyed it both days, uh, both times I shot it in both Retro Heavy and Armored Plus P. We'll go over my Armored Plus P performance on that video later on. Shooter ready. Ready. Stand by. Okay, there you have it. There's the run. Uh, not a bad run. Don't remember my time offhand, but it wasn't too bad. Seemed to be right there in the pack with everybody else. Um, I do have to apologize. Uh, my aim cam that I mentioned in stage three that the cold had just killed, uh, it 
did it, the, the cold was still affecting it. I did get video. The problem is somehow the sound got deactivated. Not sure how that occurred, but it, it did. And while I have POV video, uh, there's no sound to go with it. And quite frankly, in this particular stage, I don't see where the POV was offering anything uh, that you didn't get on the regular camera. At Desert Brutality this year, the AIM cam really failed. Uh, had all kinds of problems. And I'll cover each of those problems I have on as the a stage that comes up that's applicable to the problem. But in general, this is a camera that served all right at Finish Brutality. It served me well at Tiger Valley and the Zombie Match. But yeah, this time around Desert Brutality basically killed the unit and it pretty much failed. It's just not up to the rigors of this type of competition. If you're doing some ski, trap, some ipsic, it's probably fine. Uh, but the Brutality style matches is just too much for the gear. We hope you're finding our coverage of Desert Brutality 2020 helpful and informative. Please comment, like, and subscribe and tune in tomorrow for Stage 5.